more videos. Now, I know that I haven't been able to post as much as I've wanted to because I have been looking for somebody to help me film and it has been incredibly difficult to help somebody find me film uh if you guys didn't already know i moved to a new city and now i live in atlanta georgia and i've been here for about a year now but i can't find somebody to help me film so the videos that you see me being filmed by somebody else is usually by my mom or family members so they're not here so it's difficult to find somebody to help me film so that's why i haven't been able to shoot much videos with somebody else filming for me but i have some videos coming though because i am looking for an intern so if you live in atlanta georgia and you would like to help me film some videos psh, comment below and let me know or you know somebody because uh coco needs some help with that let's get right into the video so today i'm going to talk to you about my volleyball experience story why did I start volleyball? How did volleyball come to be a fruition in my life? And how did I get to where I am now? So first, let's start off with why did I start volleyball? Well, I started playing volleyball in 10th grade. And a lot of the comments I see in the comments below are, is it too late to start to play volleyball? And it is never too late. I trained a client back in the beginning of the summer and she was 52 years old. So it is never too late to start playing volleyball. I started playing when I was in 10th grade and I had no experience whatsoever. I knew nothing about volleyball. I didn't know, um, I didn't know positions. I didn't know how to hit. I didn't know how to serve. I didn't know, I didn't know anything at all. But luckily I had the opportunity to learn. So what I did was it was my first time at a new school. I just transferred to a new school in 10th grade. And for you guys that don't know, I'm a military child. So I grew up in Seoul, Korea. So I grew up around the world. I grew up in Korea. And they did have volleyball there, but I wasn't necessarily interested in volleyball then. I was in a lot of different clubs in middle school. So I didn't really participate in sports until I got into high school. Um, but I've always been naturally athletic. So in 10th grade, I was sitting in my counselor's office and the then volleyball coach walks in to talk to her about something and he says how tall are you and i said i'm five nine and a half and he said do you play volleyball and I, my mom was there and she was like she can play volleyball and that's literally how the story started for me so no i didn't necessarily choose volleyball in the initial but that's how i started playing volleyball so after that i went to my first volleyball camp and it was at campbell university which is in north carolina and this volleyball camp was very different for me because a lot of the people that did go to this camp were varsity members and i was new i wasn't even on the team i had never been on the team and i went and i was completely lost i knew nothing about position i knew nothing about hitting anything like that so um at the majority of the camp i was confused I was a little lost and I did get disheartened because I felt like this is a lot of information to take in and this is a three day stay there camp. So I knew no one. So I was getting to, I had to get to know people. I had to get to know the positions. I had to get to know the coach. I had to do a lot of different things at the same time. But that camp showed me how intense volleyball could be. So I made it a point to really try to be good at volleyball so my parents ended up buying me like a makeshift volleyball net it was a really cheap one but it worked and I would just serve the ball over in my backyard or I would learn how to pass and but the passing part that will come on later in the story so I would learn how to pass and I would learn how to hit and all that kind of stuff so then fast forward come tryouts I was I was excited the adrenaline was pumping I felt the adrenaline the first thing she asked us to do uh, my late coach, who unfortunately she passed away last year, so bless her heart. She first thing she asked us to do was to run 10 laps. So I ran 10 laps, and adrenaline was like, and I was feeling it. I felt the adrenaline, and I was like, let's go, let's go. So I ran the 10 laps, and we had to do a lot of different school things like passing. I don't necessarily remember everything that we had to do. It was so long ago. Um, we had to pass, we had to hit, we had to serve stuff like that. So I ended up making the JV team and we went through a lot of JV coaches. Um, throughout our JV season, I'm pretty sure we had three different coaches. Not a good look, okay? So uh, we had three different coaches during our JV season, which is pretty odd, all right? Then let's fast forward. Okay, so 10th grade, I was designated to play the middle hitter. And 
or middle blocker and that's a video that's going to come up as describing the positions to you guys because a lot of you guys are new and you don't know what the positions are so the position i played for my high school career was middle blocker so fast forward to junior year i ended up making varsity um i was the second middle so i was not the starting middle i was the second middle um and what the second middle means is the starting middle would rotate around and then i would come in okay so junior year i was still timid i was still nervous in games and i have a video on how to not be nervous which is coming up i was nervous in games i was anxious i was focusing on the crowd i was looking at the, my parents in the crowd i was looking at the football players in the crowd i was looking at everybody else and i didn't want to let other people down but i remember it was like a light switch it literally was like a light switch one day i used to hit like a noodle okay like i used to hit like this i didn't hit like spike like this i hit like a noodle okay and i'm a very strong girl like i'm a very i could be on y'all in middle school I used to beat boys in arm wrestling okay very strong so I ended up hitting like a noodle so I move on to junior year and we were playing a school named Southview and when we were playing Southview there was this one position where I was hitting somebody set me the ball really well and I hit the ball and it went straight down like 10 foot line the 10 foot line it went straight down and I remember putting all of my energy and all of my frustration and all of everything that I had felt to that point about volleyball I put it into that hit and my coach was like oh my god you know and and my teammates were like oh my god my parents were like oh, okay so that was the, the the light switch for moment for me and I tell my clients all the time once you turn that light switch on, it's on, baby. It's on, okay? So for everybody, you have to find your light switch. You have to find the place for you where you just get it, okay? And I remember that moment in 11th grade when I just got it, okay? So from that point on, volleyball was completely different, okay? Senior year was a great year. Senior year, my high school was ranked number 33 in the state of North Carolina for volleyball, and we had an all-star team, okay? All-star team. We had like eight seniors and like two juniors. So when we left, okay, so we ended up having a great experience. I was hitting 10 foot line at my best. Um, I was I was smacking people in the face with the ball. Like I, it was like a light switch, okay? Moved on to college. I decided to go and play club in college because I wanted to have that college experience and I didn't want volleyball to be my whole life. So I played club in college and um, if you guys didn't know, I went to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte and I played club in college for three and a half years and that was a great experience. Now, if you don't know what club in college is, let me explain that to you. You have high school volleyball, club high school volleyball, college club, college club volleyball, college volleyball, professional volleyball. You see the order of operations there? Cool. So I decided to play club in college. It was a great experiment, experiment, experience. We went to tournaments on the weekend. I also played middle blocker there. I was nasty, y'all. Mm, Coco was working it. But that's the experience I had and then I decided Due to some government issues within our club volleyball system, because the club volleyball system was run by students and not like a coach, I decided to stop playing club volleyball and started playing recreational co-ed volleyball. And that's when volleyball really took, I really started to love it. It's when I started playing co-ed with different kinds of people, short, heavy set, skinny, tall, young, old, black, white, Asian, Hispanic. I used to play, I played with so many diverse people and that's when I started to love it because I met so many people from different walks of life. So that's why when you watch my vlogs, you'll see a lot of different types of people and you might meet some different types of people when you see me vlog about them because it was just a great experience. And I am so grateful for the volleyball experience that I had. So that's why I decided to kind of take it about myself to coach because I want you to have a great experience like I had and I want you to love volleyball. I want you to feel like volleyball is one of the best decisions you've made in your life. So that's why I made this channel for you. I want you to feel the way that I felt and I want you to have a positive experience. I know that every coach out there isn't the greatest coach. There are some coaches who are greater than myself who are wonderful people and, and they're out there. And I want you to find those people to uplift you to be the best volleyball player that you can be because volleyball is a wonderful experience. So that's why I made this channel. So if you have 
any other questions for me about my volleyball experience, if you want to ask me about college or high school, please put them in the comments below and let me know what you want to see. And thank you guys for watching my volleyball experience story and I hope that you guys like it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm going to have those right here because that's when I update when I can't film a video or a video is going to be skipped this week. I'll put them on those social media sites. So make sure you check those out. Also, make sure you subscribe. And if you know somebody that would like to see this video, share it with them because we're trying to share the volleyball love. With everything, I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.